chapter, verse number 17. The Bible says, he shall not need to fight in this battle. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you. O Judah and Jerusalem, fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. Amen. The subject of the sermon today is set yourself. Will you just say that with me? Set yourself. Amen. I'm going to ask you to get your offering at this time. Amen. Whatever you have purpose in your heart to give. Amen. We receive your tithe and your offering today. The tithe is the tenth of all your increase. Amen. Week by week, month by month, howsoever you may pay, howsoever you receive what the Lord has blessed your life with. Amen. We receive that. Amen. Your tithe and your offering. Your offering is what you have. Purpose in your heart to give to God. The Bible says that every man. According as he purpose in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. The Bible says that God is able to make all grace abound toward you in all that he has all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. Praise God for the good work. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. We thank you for how you have supported Providence in 2022 and in years past. We are grateful for the gift that you have given to this ministry. We are diligent in making sure that the funds received in this ministry go towards godly purposes. Amen. That we may honor the Lord with the fruit of our substance. We give God praise today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Wonderful Jesus, wonderful Jesus. And everyone had an opportunity to give. Amen. We don't want to leave anyone out. Amen. Well, everyone have an opportunity to sow into the kingdom of God. And really, it's sowing into your own life. Amen. Because the seed that you sow never leaves your life but goes into your future and awaits your arrival. We thank the Lord for what you have given in our giving on this day. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And you that are online, you have an opportunity to sow into this ministry as well. Our cash app is dollar sign Providence Coaching. Our PayPal address is paypal.me slash Providence Coaching. Thank you for what you give week in and week out to support this ministry. And here at Providence, we want to finish strong this year. God has been exceptionally good, but we still want to finish strong. Amen. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for what your people have given. Thank you for every gift and giver. Lord, I pray that you will bless this offering, this seed that has been sown. Lord, let this seed multiply back into the lives of the souls. And Lord, let this offering given today cover every need of this house. We thank you, God, for your daily provision for our lives. We thank you for this opportunity to give. For your word says it is more blessed to give than to receive. And we stand on your word. We receive what you have made in your will for our lives. We give you glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Amen and amen. We have just one simple announcement on this afternoon at 4 p.m. Amen. We will have a wedding here. Amen. Brother Wayne Ingram and Sister Brenda Hall. Amen. Sister Brenda is the mother of our dear Sister Katrina McNeil. And so we want to come and celebrate with them. Our health training, our Christian education and leadership training will be next Sunday with Elder Harris. Amen. At this time, let's praise the Lord with our sister J.R. Pryor. Come on, lift your voice, lift your hands, clap your hands, stomp your feet, join in the prayer. God bless you.
where you are in your home, you can worship too. Just a man to worship God. Tell him how wonderful he is. He is wonderful. Better to us than anyone could be to us. Better to us than we even are to ourselves.
today. During the conversation, God said, set yourself. And I, I, I said, Lord, I, uh, I remember that scripture, but where is the scripture? And uh, we often overlook this part of the scripture because it's buried in there with some other admonitions. But in that Second Chronicles 20 and 17, the word says, ye shall not need to fight in this battle. How many of us have been struggling with holding our peace? How many of us have been struggling with uh, not saying anything and just letting it be what it's going to be? Some people are not built like that, I understand. Amen. Some people, uh, you look at them and you ain't going to fight, much less say anything. <laughs> Amen. But here in this passage, he says, ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you. O Judah and Jerusalem, fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. Just to give you a very small synopsis of the background, we, we see here uh, Jehoshaphat. And uh, this man of God was the leader of Israel, and uh, some people had conspired against him. The children of Moab, uh, Ammon, and others came against Jehoshaphat to do battle. You know, when I was growing up, uh, whenever there was a fight on the playground, it was one on one. Nowadays, you get into a fight and it's five or ten on one. And in this particular scenario in Second Chronicles 20, Jehoshaphat and the children of Israel are being gained up on by the children of Moab and Ammon, and they brought in other folks to help them win the battle. Well, word got to Jehoshaphat that trouble was coming. Now for all of you spiritual folks, the Bible says that Jehoshaphat feared. For you all that can get some bad news and stand strong as a rock, God bless you, but that's, that's not the case here. Jehoshaphat naturally feared but then he spiritually prayed. Lord, have mercy. You may have a natural action, but always have a spiritual reaction. Always go to God and, oh, Lord, have mercy. And the Bible says that Jehoshaphat set himself to seek the Lord. And he proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. We would do well when we hear of trouble headed our way to pray and fast. When we start hearing of trouble, we start looking at the backup plan. We start going for the 9 mil and the Glock and the M16 and all of that, the AR. Uh, uh -huh. uh, we start going for weapons to uh, defend ourselves, but if you don't fast and pray, some
Jehoshaphat pleads his case and his cause before the Lord. In his prayer, he reminds God, Lord, have mercy. Sometimes you got to tell God, Lord, you did it before. I need you to do it again. Yes. Lord, you saved it before. Now I need you to save yes. it again. Yes. Lord, I was sick last year and you healed me. Yes. Lord, I was bound here before and you delivered me. Yes. Sometimes you got to yes. remind God yes. of who yes. he is yes. and what he has done. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a good thing when you remember that God has been good, that God is good, yes. and that God will be yes. good. Yes. Can I get somebody to give God some praise? Yes. Right? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He reminds God that, Lord, you are ruler. Lord, you are powerful. Yes. Lord, you drove out the inhabitants of the land before we came and occupied this land. God, you put us, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Ooh, I want to shout right there. God, you put us there. You put us where we are. You bless us with the car we drive. You bless us with the home we have. And now they're trying to take it. They're trying to repossess it. They're trying, oh my goodness, to put me in foreclosure. But God, you put me here. And when God puts you somewhere, can't nobody put you out. Amen. Oh my God. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me get back on the track here because I'm beginning to get excited about what God has done. Because I know that what he has done, he will do it again. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Somebody say right now, Lord, Lord. do it again. Do it again. Big, bold, and bad enough to come back at you again. 
But this time, you got God on your side. Amen. You could have wasted them back in 72. But you gave them grace. You could have wasted them back in 92. But you gave them grace. And now they want to come back being big, bad, and bold, talking all that yay. But oh, God is with you. You don't have to fight in this battle. You just have to tell God about it. Oh, my God. Jehaziel, the son of Zechariah, 
He tells them which way to go to be in strategic location for the attack against the enemy. He said, ye shall not need to fight in this battle. You've got to get in place. Hallelujah. He said, you shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourself. Yeah. Amen. I looked at a little bit of football last week. And those linemen got down in that three-point stand. They were ready for the snap of the ball. Some of us are standing around while they get again. And then we get blindsided and want to call a penalty on the other one. No, you got to get in place. Amen. you got to set yourself up. you got to set yourself up back. Set yourself to fight. God's going to do the fighting, but you got to set yourself up. you got to set for what's coming. You can't be any kind of way, but you got to set yourself in place. Set yourself in action. Set yourself in the Word. Set yourself in order to be victorious in God. Set myself up. 
to be blessed. How do you set yourself? Uh, Colossians 3 and 1 says, If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Amen. Then it says in verse 2, Set your affection on things above, and not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid in Christ with God, with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then ye shall also appear with him in glory. Saints of God, keep your eyes on the Lord. Amen. You've got to keep your attention on the Lord. You've got to keep your expectation in the Lord. Amen. There is no other hope. There is no other way. Keep your focus on him. Keep your trust in him. Keep your mind on him. Keep your faith in him. Keep your hope in him. And everything, somebody say everything, everything. will be all right. Yeah. When you trust in Jesus, he doesn't fail. When you trust in man, he comes short every time. But when you trust in the Lord, lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. The Bible says that he will direct your path. Anybody need God to direct your path? You need him to tell the way to go. You need him to tell you where to go. You need him to tell you how to go. Well, pray fast and follow. And God will reveal himself. Pray fast and follow. And God will show himself mighty. And God will show himself strong. Pray fast and follow. And the Lord will do whatever needs to be done. He'll set you up for victory. He'll set you up for success. He'll set you up to win every time. Even when it looks like you're losing, God says you are winning. Even when it looks like you're outnumbered, God says you're victorious. Even when it looks like the odds are against you, it's God before us. Shall be against us. It's God is on your side. Can't nobody come against you. Can't nobody overcome you. Can't nobody defeat you.
fire to overcome. And it's not, I, I think I need to make this clear. Jehoshaphat in Israel didn't have the capability they needed, but they had the God. For everyone who is saying, I can't do this because I don't have that, if Jesus is all you got, then Jesus is all you need. Amen. Amen. The Lord wants to come in and be the CEO, the COO, the CFO. He wants to be it all. But then we get in the way of God's plan. Get out of the way. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. <clears throat> I want you to get in mind that problem, that issue, that care, that concern. If you need prayer today, lift your hands. Bow your heads with me, Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you, God, for this day of impartation. Thank you for this day, O oh God, where you set us up to be blessed. Yes, Lord. Lord, you fight our battles for us. You come against our enemies for us. Lord, use us for your glory. Lord, you are the one that's responsible for our life and our livelihood. We give credit and credence to no other but you. And Lord, for every situation that is on the mind and heart of your people right now, no matter whether they're listening to this live or on rewind. Lord, I pray now that your spirit will go before them and clear the way. That your spirit will go before them and make a way. Lord, you said in your word that you are the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by you. So, Lord, we surrender the issue to you right now. We release it in this prayer, and we don't take it back. God, move on behalf of your people right now. God, and whoever you need to use to do it, you have our full permission to operate as you operate. Lord, your word says for us to quench not the spirit. Lord, sometimes we're our own worst enemy. Sometimes we're in our own way. But Lord, have your way in us. In the name of Jesus. Help us, God, to set ourselves and then to stay there. Stand ye still. Hallelujah and see the salvation of the Lord with us. Lord, there's no situation too hard for you. I come against the enemy that's trying to point out how dire things are. Say that the Lord God rebuke you. The blood of Jesus is against you. You have no victory. You are a defeated foe. We cast you out in the name of Jesus. We cast you out of the mind. Cast you out of the will. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Lord, your word says, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. We thank you, God. Thank you, God. As we pray, fast, and follow, Lord, manifest your presence in our lives. And Lord, in the meantime, oh God, while we're waiting on manifestation in the meantime, while we're waiting on you to direct us and protect us and make provision for us, while we're waiting on you, in the meantime, we shall give you the best praise that we have ever given you. In the grocery store, in the car, at home, wherever we are, we shall praise you. Hallelujah. You said, Lord, in everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning us.
God. And Lord, you'll take care of the rest. We bless you and honor you in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Amen and amen. If you believe it, give God the best.